Welcome to this latest edition of Pause for Thought with me, Greg. We've reached chapter 63 of the prophet Isaiah, and the first section, the first six verses, are God's day of vengeance and redemption. And we remember that God has made many promises. He has predicted there'll be glory and there'll be a year of favor, but he reminds us here that he is a holy God and he doesn't turn a blind eye to wickedness. So let's just listen to some music as I read. Is this coming from Eden, from Bosra, with his garments stained crimson? Who is this, robed in splendor, striding forward in the greatness of his strength? It is I, proclaiming victory, mighty to save. But why are your garments red? like those of one treading the winepress. I have trodden the winepress alone. I've trodden the winepress alone from the nations and no one was with me. I trampled them in my anger and trod them down in my wrath. Their blood was on my garment, and I stained all my clothing. It was for me the day of vengeance, the year for me to redeem my family. I looked, but there was no one to me. I was appalled, but no one gave support. So my own arm achieved salvation for me, and my own arm and my own wrath sustained me. I trampled the nations in my anger. I made them drunk and poured them out. In this passage, we feel the aching of heart of a holy God that seeing wickedness had to act. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world was appalled at the injustice and the wickedness, and the self, and the murder. The foreign gods, the debauchery, the greed, the heart of man. There was no one to help. Remember when the judgment on Sodom and Gomorrah was about to fall. If 50 are righteous, will you save it? Yes, I'll save it. 20? Yes, I'll save it. If there's 10 righteous men in that city, will you save it? Yes. But there was only Lot and his family. And even Lot's wife looked back, yearning for what they had. And the consequence of her action. He was appalled that no one gave support.
Jesus said, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. When I was sick, you cared for me. For as much as you do it to the least of these, you do it for me, says the Lord. And those who don't are the ones who are left out. So the Lord himself raised up his arm. like never before to stop and think and reflect to take an audit of our lives about how we measure up to the commandments love God and our neighbour as ourselves Our inheritance is with the Lord in heaven. But the narrow is the way, and few are on it. But Jesus, the Lamb of God, willingly poured out his blood and his life because he loves you. To open the gate of glory so that we might have access to our Heavenly Father, who is the King of love forever. Repentance is not something that should be taken lightly. It's something that should be from the heart. Repentance actually means to recognize the sin, and turn from it and seek the Lord with a broken and contrite heart because the Lord doesn't want false religion, false worship. He doesn't want you to go through the same old. He wants your heart and your life to be a blessing and transformed. Come to me, all of you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Take my burden upon you, which is light. Truly, that is the way to peace and purpose and blessing, honor and the gift of eternal life. And in these days where we miss a hug or a kiss or to say farewell, make sure your heart is right with God who takes away the sins of the world. Amen. So until next time, it's a big God bless you from me, Greg. Bye.